Hi everybody, it's Marcella Friel here, Mindful Eating Mentor, who helps health conscious women like you love and forgive yourself, your food, and your figure. And today I'm going to do some tapping with Laurie, who graciously agreed to be on camera for all of you. And Laurie, um, hi. 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 And you have done some tapping, is that right? Yes, I have looked into it on YouTube, and a friend mentioned it to me, but I've never really delved deeply into it. Okay. And what you were just saying to me was that you feel like you have a distorted body image. Yes. Okay. So while we're talking about this, why don't we just begin by tapping right here on the, yeah, on the collarbone points. That's mm -hmm. good right there. Okay. So tell me a little bit about your distorted body image. Well... I think it stems back from my upbringing. My mother was a very critical mother mm -hmm. and making comments about my physical appearance probably since I was 13. Okay. And I don't blame my mother, but uh, I really, I think, internalized it and the imprinting has been with me for years. Okay. And. So I've been dieting since I was 13. I was bulimic mm. in my young 20s. I married a man who also commented on my weight and made me made sure I was thinner. Mm. And uh, it's, it's, it's just an imprinting I wish I could get rid of. Okay, let's do it. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, so let's do some tapping on this. Okay. And what I want to suggest is like, say as I say and do as I do. Mm -hmm. But if my words don't resonate with you, jump in with your own words. Okay? Got it. Um, and those of you who are watching, you can feel free to tap along if you also feel like you experience uh, distortion in your body image. Okay. So I... I have a distorted body image. How true does that feel on a scale of one to 10 with 10 being like absolutely true? Or would you say like it's really true, it's, it's moderately true, or it's not very true at all? It's really true. It's, it, it feels really true. Like your, your head kind of knows it's not true, but like you feel it. Yes. Oh, okay, good. That's a good distinction for mm -hmm. us to really mm -hmm. dial in. And Laurie, what emotions come up when you think about this? Yeah, this might get a little tender. Hmm, emotions. Like, how does this make you feel? Well, it makes me feel like I'm... Mm, I, I've just been wasting so much time on this. It's, it's making me feel uh, consumed to the point where, at my age, this should not be a mm. priority for me. Okay, so I'm hearing, like, regret, maybe? Regret. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. And maybe a little sadness? Or, mm. I don't know, I'm, I'm reading into it, maybe. Sadness, yes. But also, feeling that I haven't been truthful. Mm. Mm. Okay. All kind right. of deception. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's do some tapping right here. So it feels really true. Okay, good. Let's mm -hmm. do some tapping. So just let's just start with a nice deep breath. Okay. So even though I have this distorted body image. Even though I have this distorted body image. And I've been carrying this for a long time. And I have been carrying it for a long time. I think it imprinted when I was 13. I think it imprinted when I was 13. And part of me knows it's not true. Part of me knows it's not true. But it feels really true. But it feels really true. I would love to let go of this. I would so love to get let go of this. Good. I'm really ready. I'm so ready. It's time now. It is time. Okay. And whether I can let go of it or not. And whether I could let go of it or not. I deeply love and accept myself. I deeply love and accept myself. As best I can in this moment. As best I can in this moment. Excellent. Let's go up to the top of the head. I have this distorted body image. I have this distorted body image. Sometimes when I look in the mirror, 
Sometimes when I look in the mirror, I know that what I'm thinking, I know that what I'm thinking doesn't match what's real what's really in the mirror. Doesn't match what's really in the mirror. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And it's been this way for a long time. And it's been this way for a long time. I think it started with my mother. I think it started with my mother. Okay. All of her comments. All of her comments. Yeah. Everything that she said. Everything that she has said. Yeah. And I've been dieting for a really long time. And I have been dieting for a really long time. Just really struggling with my body. Just really struggling with my body. Does that all feel true? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm really regretting all of this. And I'm really regretting all of this. Okay. That I'm still carrying it at this age. That I'm still carrying it at this age. I feel like I should be done with it by now. I feel like I should be done with it by now. Okay. Okay. I'm getting something like um, everything in my life that I have been missing because of this. Everything that I have been missing because of this. Something like that, right? Like yeah, how consuming. I've wasted so much time. There it is. I've wasted so much time. Yeah, and so much energy. So much energy. Okay. Because this has really consumed me. Because this has really consumed me. Alrighty, take a nice deep breath. Let's keep going. Good. I'm ready to let go of this. I'm ready to let go of this. I'm ready to be done with this. I'm ready to be done with this. Yeah. Yes. I'm ready to say, hey, Mom. I'm ready to say, hey, Mom. You know what? You know what? All those comments. All those comments. They're not true. They're not true. They're not really true. They're not really true. Okay, how does that feel to say that? It feels good. <laughs> does it? Okay, let's, ta let's, uh, let's finish this and then we'll take a nice deep breath. Alrighty. I'm ready to let go of it. I am ready to let go of this. I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot. But it's time now. But it's time now. Okay. I've suffered long enough. I have suffered long enough. I have suffered long enough. I have suffered long enough. And I'm ready to lay this down. And I'm ready to lay this down. Beautiful. Let's take a nice deep breath. Wow. Oh, you look a little lighter. Yeah, what's coming up? I bet this is pretty intense to be touching into it. And This is probably one of the first times I've been so honest to somebody about this. Okay. It's something that I haven't talked about to anybody. Mm. Yeah, because I feel it so foolish. Mm. Yet, um, yes, I, I try to fix it myself, but I... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this, it feels good to talk about it. Oh, you are so brave. You're so <laughs> brave. This is the first time she's talking about it. Oh my goodness. Oh, good for you. Yay. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> so, okay. I have a distorted image of my body. It was really true when we started. How does it feel now? It, it feels um, less. It mm -hmm. feels... Yeah, it feels less. Uh, less? Yeah. yeah, I feel more ethereal. I feel, you know, less in my physical body and more ethereal. I don't know. It just yeah, feels maybe a little lighter? Lighter, okay. yes. What feels like it's still there or what came up while we were tapping? Well, the part of... Blaming my mother, which I really don't want that to be the main point. I think, I think it's when when I went from having a little girl figure, and then at thirteen starting to get hips and all that. I think that's, I think that even might be part of the distorted body figure, not mm -hmm. wanting. Um, you know, to wear bigger clothes, uh, oh. you know, larger sizes, or, um, yeah, kind of like that. Okay. And uh, so, you know, my mother, bless her heart, I don't want to feel like I am blaming her, but I feel like that was the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I grew up in the, you know, the Barbie age. Oh, yeah. We and all know about that. Yes, yeah. yes. And um, 
Oh, so that's mainly it. I, it's somehow maybe a character flaw in me to let all these outside influences influence me. Well, not necessarily, because, you know, when we're younger, we're very, I mean, of course, we're impressionable, and we have to belong to our tribe. I mean, that's huge. That's a huge survival need. Mm. Let's focus on, um, I don't want to blame my mother. Yes. And let's, let's, so again, it's sort of the same thing of like, you know, I know it's not true, but I feel it. Like, I know I don't want to blame my mother, but I really feel like maybe some anger toward her or some, you know, frustration that she did this or like wishing she hadn't or like whatever, you know, with tapping, mm. it works with the emotions. Okay. So like, it's good to get to those emotional undercurrents because that's where the behaviors and the beliefs kind of sprout from. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to feel whatever it is that you're feeling. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I feel like I've sort of resolved that part. Um, before she died, mm. um, but again, it's still imprinting, and it's it's hard for me to. Um, uh, yeah, I don't want to point the finger at anybody, you know. But okay. I'm just telling you about my upbringing, and uh, you know, her way of being maternal was really to criticize, you know. Oh, you've put on some weight. Oh, you need some lipstick on. Oh, mm. and that was her way of, I think, being a mother. Yeah, that right. was the best. That was what she could do. Right, and I don't remember too much uh, positive, you know, mm. reinforcement. I mean, yeah. if I did look nice, she didn't say that. Only if something was off or, you know. Uh, okay, let's yeah. do some tap. Let's do some okay. tapping right here. Okay. Even though, even though I don't want to blame her, I don't want to blame her because part of me knows it's really not her fault. Part of me really knows it's not her fault. She was doing the best she could do. She was doing the best she could do. But still, it was hard. But still, it was hard. It was hard for me. It was very hard. For okay, me. and it's still hard for me. It's still hard for me. Yeah, and she's gone now. Yes. And I really want to let this go. And I really want to let this yeah, go. Yeah, I don't want to hold on to this anymore. No, I don't want to hold on to this okay. anymore. And I, I'm getting more and more ready. I am getting ready. To really let this go. To let this go. And I love that about myself. And I love that part about myself. Yay me! Yay! All right, let's do it. It wasn't her fault. It wasn't her fault. I don't want to point the finger at her. I don't want to point the finger at her. Okay. I don't want to make a big gripe about it. I don't want to make a big gripe about right? it. Right? Like, I don't want to complain about my mother. I don't want to complain about my mother. All those things that she said and did. All those things she said and did. But there wasn't a lot of positive reinforcement. There wasn't a lot of positive reinforcement. <sighs> Especially around my teenage years. Especially around my teenage years. Yeah, as I was coming into puberty. As I was coming into puberty. Starting to get curves. Starting to get curves. Having to wear bigger clothes. Having to wear bigger clothes. And there she was. There she was. You're putting on a few pounds. How would she say it? Like, what would be her tone of voice? <sighs> kind of disgusting. Mm. You're putting on a few pounds. Yes, you've put on weight. You've put on weight. And all that judgment. Yes. It was like judging my body for being bad, for putting on weight. Right. Okay. <clears throat> what else was it? You've put on weight. You've put on weight. Like, disappointed? Just, just a criticism. I mean, mm -hmm. then I would lose weight, and she'd go, oh, you're so thin. You're too thin. Oh, so, so she criticized you either way? Yes. Okay, so I couldn't yes. win. So I couldn't There win. was no way to win her favor. There was no way to win her favor. There were no kind, supportive words. There were no kind, supportive words. Just criticism. Just criticism. Okay, let's take a nice deep breath. Keep tapping. And that's how she was. And that's how she was. And there's this part of me that's still doing that to myself. There's this part of me still doing this to myself. Okay. My mother's critical voice. My mother's critical voice. Still in my body. Still in my body. Still criticizing me. Still criticizing me. Looking at myself in the mirror now. Looking at myself in the mirror now. Saying, you've gained weight. Saying, you've gained weight. You don't look very good. 
You don't look very good. What else? What other like critical things? Oh, oh, maybe my clothes are too tight. My clothes are too tight. Okay. I she didn't like me wearing tight pants. Uh huh. Kind of made it like I was being too sexual. Uh huh. What are you saying to yourself in present time when you look in the mirror? Like you look at yourself and you say. Like, like when that critical voice kicks in, what does it say? Um, sometimes if I'm wearing something that I think she wouldn't approve of, okay. it comes up, and then I'll just say, well, screw it. Oh, good. Okay, well, <laughs> screw it. <laughs> good. Yeah. Okay, good. Let's go there. Yeah. I know this is an old voice. I know this is an old voice. Okay. It's some way that I'm keeping my mother alive. It's some way I'm keeping my mother alive. Okay. But maybe it's time for me to let go. But maybe it's time for me to let go. Okay. Let's let's play with this a little bit here. Okay. Mom. Mom. Let's just imagine yourself in that 13-year-old body and just feeling all that criticism. Mm -hmm. I know this is the best you can do. <laughs> I know this is the best you could have done. But you know what? This really hurts. But it really hurts. This doesn't help me at all. It doesn't help me at all. It feels pretty bad. It feels pretty bad. Okay. And it's time for you to stop. And it's time for you to stop. Saying these things about my body. Saying these things about my body. And it's time for me to stop. And it's time for me to stop. Saying these things about my body. Saying these things <clears throat> about my body. Okay, try this and see how this feels. They were never true. They were never true. Good. They were never true. They were never true. They were never true. They weren't true. Excellent. So why am I holding on to this? So why am I holding on to this? I don't need to. I don't need to. Good. Let's try this. Okay, the truth is. The truth is. The real truth is. The real truth is. Okay, my body is a miracle. Body is a miracle. How does that feel to say that? Oh, very, very good. My body is incredible. My body is incredible. Ah, oh, my body is amazing. My body's amazing. And now I want to look at myself in the mirror. And now I want to look myself in the mirror. And say, hello, beautiful. And say, hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful. How does that feel? Good. Does it feel okay? Yes. Good. Okay. It does. Good, let's take a nice deep breath. Ah, mm. Oh, look at that smile. <laughs> That's a big difference. <laughs> okay, I have a distorted body image. It was it was felt really, really true when we started. Where is it now? How it's, does it feel? It it feels like I am finally doing something about this. Great. For myself, yeah, and I'll be anxious to like look in the mirror today or whatever, and and not have my my uh, focus on the parts of my body that look a lot like my mom's, like um, my thighs. No, right. Okay, the yeah. thighs, you know, the little pooch belly. Um, for some reason, that's where I, I focus and I try to cover it and I'm going to try to maybe not cover it anymore. Excellent. Yeah, not cover it. Beautiful. Yeah. So when you think back about being 13, mm -hmm. like when we were talking about that, you know, like your face was starting to get a little flushed and you were, it looked like it was just a lot of distress coming up for you. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. like if you look in your mind's eye at that 13 year old going into puberty and choosing those bigger clothes like what does she look like in this moment how does it feel to you maybe that's a better question you mean my 13 year old yeah self yeah um yes i wish i wish i knew then a little bit more than you know than i did i uh she felt um i had to figure out most of the things myself my mother really wasn't yeah. available she was from Europe. She didn't know how to speak the language. So I had to figure out a lot of stuff myself. Mm. And uh, so I, yeah, I just, um, I kind of just had to figure out a lot of stuff on my own. Mm. Um, 
Yeah, I, and mm-hmm. and again, it's not her fault. You know, uh, it was just the circumstances, and uh, I. I, I just wish I would have appreciated myself more then. And I, I say that often, and I'm saying, well, it's now. Yeah, right, let's good. appreciate it now. Let's take what I know now. Let's tap and on that the, right there. Okay. Let's do right there. Okay. Let's actually just go right up to the, right up to the top okay. of the head. Okay, good. I wish I could have appreciated myself then. I wish I could have appreciated myself then. I really wish I could have appreciated myself. I really wish I could have. Appreciated myself because my mother certainly didn't appreciate me. My mother didn't appreciate me. It's not her fault. It's not her fault. She didn't know how. She did not. Know she how. really didn't know how. No, she didn't. Okay, she was struggling with so much. She was struggling with a lot. But so was I. And so was I. Okay, so Laurie, just if you want, just close your eyes for a moment. Just see that thirteen-year-old you. Mm-hmm. Just see her. Okay, good. Let's just keep tapping. Maybe tap under the under the arm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know this is hard for you. Let's just talk to her for a moment. I know this is hard. Yeah. Okay, good. Just keep tapping if you can't talk. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's good. Just mm-hmm. go up to the top of the head. I know this is really hard. I know this is really hard. Yeah, inside the eyebrow. It's been hard for me, too. It's been hard for me, too. I know. It's been really hard. Really hard. But it's okay. It is okay. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with me. Nothing wrong with your body. We're ta- let's talk to that little girl. Okay, there's nothing wrong with your body. Your body's fine, honey. Your body is fine, honey. Mom is just putting her stuff on you. Mom is just putting her stuff on she you. She doesn't know any better. She doesn't know any better. But you know what? We'll, we'll get through this. Know, we'll get through what this. What were you going to say? You are going to say something? I was just mimicking you. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Yeah, because you're a beautiful young girl. You are a beautiful young girl. And maybe you don't know that. Maybe you don't know that. But I know that. But I know that. And I'm coming back now. And I'm going to come back now. To let you know this. To let you know this. I see you. I see you. You're a great kid. You're a great kid. You're a fine young woman. Fine young woman. Yeah, and you're going to grow up to be amazing. You'll be growing up to be amazing. And I love you, and I'm here with you. And I love you, and I'm here with you. Okay, let's take a breath. Ooh. Mm, so now she knows. <laughs> she ha- Yeah, so this is something that you can keep doing. Mm-hmm. Like if, if this resurfaces, like mm-hmm. so when you go home and look in the mirror mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you start to feel that critical voice coming up, mm-hmm. uh, you can just tap right there. Just while you're looking at yourself in the mirror, just start tapping like, you know what? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know this is an old story. Mm-hmm. You know, okay. it's not true in present. Okay. It's really not true. Yeah, and it's just something old that I've been carrying. Mm-hmm. And it's okay to let it go. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. And then maybe find a couple of things that you actually appreciate about your body. Like, wow, I really love the sparkle of my eyes. I really love um, my hair or my shoulders. or You know, mm-hmm. like start to really... Yeah, change okay. the tape. Right. It's, it's, it'll be a good tool to use. Okay. It'll be a good tool. So how are you feeling? I'm elated. Oh! I'm elated. Thank you so much for including me for this with this up. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. You're so brave. I had this no expectations, and so I am, af- you know, I'm very, very pleased. And I, I know it's going to make a difference. Excellent. Oh, I'm really happy to hear that. Yay! All right. Well, I hope this is helpful to all of you as well. Um, If you would like to learn more about my work, please feel free to visit my website, marcellafriel.com, M-A-R-C-E-L-L-A-F-R-I-E-L.com. And uh, yeah, let's find a time to talk. Oh, can I give you a hug? Yeah. Yes? Oh, beautiful. Thank well you. done. Thank oh, you're so you. brave. <laughs> really. Oh, so good. All right, everybody. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>